This is made of ceramic and yes. glass. The edge of the clay had some metal on it, and the glass had metal on it, and it is attached just like stained glass. And so the part is uh, all soldered here together, and there is an extra wire soldered there. Mm -hmm. And there's decoration all over the front and the side. Wow, I'm impressed. So too. this this pattern is not mm -hmm. circle; it's oval. Uh -huh. So I had to match that. Yes, very impressive. That's something that, that How do you solder on ceramic? I mean, how uh, do you make the the same? We'll think about oh, it. Oh, you, you put the copper yeah. foil. Yeah, mm -hmm. the same adhesive strip. Is okay, here. so how do you attach the copper foil on the ceramic? It sticks. It sticks. It just sticks really. It doesn't stick as well. Okay. But, okay. You know, on the glass it sticks uh -huh. well, yes. but on the plate yes. it sticks enough. Uh -huh. So if I were to do it again, I would uh -huh. probably make it a little bit more stable. Okay. But but this is pretty stable because in order for this to, uh -huh. in order for an accident to happen, yes. this would have to be ripped off completely. Yes. And that's not likely to happen. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a, a a painted base. This is a collapsed one that I made and I painted it oh. with uh, uh -huh. different shapes yes. and things like that. I see. Uh, these are some bases which have been painted inside yellow Very and uh, painted with acrylic paint on the outside. Mm -hmm. And these are some ceramic bases that have been uh, also painted with different kinds of things, but their shapes and the uh, parts inside make it look like flowers, which sure. is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else is there. This is a ceramic base built from flat parts. Yeah. It's sort of like an architectural color, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, everywhere there's an important edge, it's made white, and mm -hmm. the inside is a green that I just kind of like. Yes, I do. <laughs> and this piece here, uh, oh, was another the most one. cutting job because yes. this ceramic okay. part had this irregular piece inside. Yes. And so uh, this piece was cut to fit, and uh, the the metal was added to this edge mm -hmm. so that it could be uh, soldered in mm -hmm. and the decoration could be a little bit more complicated but by the time I did all of that I don't know how much I had left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how much attention I had left. And this, you s have you seen this? No. Okay, so this is an homage to typography. This is plain CD cases. Sure. But each of these little pieces is paper. Oh. And it is cut out yes. and arranged exactly like movable type yes. uh, would have been. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, the, the, the text is uh, just an uh, encyclopedia, the beginning of an encyclopedia okay. entry on... Yes. Uh, Where know, did you get all these letters? Typography. I made them. You made the letters? Yes. Yeah. It's this paper, heavy cardboard paper, uh -huh. and I just wrote all the letters many, many times so that I had enough. Wow. And I cut them out. That's wow. On paper. Wow. <laughs> so that mm -hmm. I liked. That mm -hmm. I liked. Mm -hmm. And this is a ceramic vase with uh, glass parts inside. Oh, wow. And this spins. That is a clay part. And this is another part that spins. I don't know if you can tell. The little red ball deepest yes. in there also spins. Really? Oh, yes, yes. yes I can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. So this is an ex the, this is just another one of those experiments mm -hmm. where there's different glass pieces put uh, in in ceramic parts, and this is uh, the paint on the glass is that special kind of paint that you see uh, with car pinstriping. Yes. If you see on cars uh, the, uh -huh. all the, yes. the the decoration, mm -hmm. that's a certain kind of paint enamel that flows really uh -huh. well, and it sticks to glass mm -hmm. and uh, whatever paint it is that uh -huh. cars yeah, have. Yeah. And um, and so that works here too. Well, I'm impressed that this time you decide to choose all matte colors for your ceramic. I think that that was going to be uh, uh -huh. a good choice because mm -hmm. I felt that with all of the physical detail, mm -hmm. the, the shininess would be uh, would be distracting. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, like over here with all yes. the shapes, yes. if they were very shiny. I don't think I see. Be able to tell. I see. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, uh, this could certainly be shiny, mm -hmm. but it would be very different. Mm -hmm. Now, this looks like a genealogical... Yes, <laughs> yes. I want it to be just like a genealogy, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the joke here is uh, not a very funny joke, but uh, what's going on is mm -hmm. that all the birds have the same last name, bird. <laughs> right? And yes. it's all different initials. Uh -huh, different initials. Well, okay. people, people uh -huh. who study music, they know a lot about, for example, Bach. Uh -huh. And you know that there were so many Bachs. Yeah. The famous two that we know, Johann Sebastian Bach goes yes. by J.S. Bach, yes. and C.P.E. Bach, Carl yes. Philip Emanuel uh -huh. Bach. But 
you know, uh, it's a whole one big musical family. I see. And when you're trying to study the music, you you know, you get lost. Someone was someone's brother, and mm -hmm. you know, it all gets mm -hmm. so you yeah. along uh -huh. the charts. Uh -huh. So I thought that having the birds would be also funny because mm -hmm. you know. And yes. the one name that's different is hard to see in this lighting because of uh -huh. the shadow. But her name yes. is Flo. <laughs> Flo, very different. I see. But uh, you know, she married in, mm -hmm. and so this is his side of the family. But mm -hmm. it also gave me a fun chance to uh, use initials that are either funny, mm -hmm. like L O L Bird and L L Bird, oh, I and see. Uh, you know uh, F Y I Bird. Mm -hmm. You know, but see, some see. of the initials are people I know, yes. and one of them is me. I don't remember now where it mm. is. But uh, it's a way to use the birds yeah. as uh, decorative objects. Mm -hmm. um, they aren't whistles, mm -hmm. but those are the birds that were, uh, you know, uh, could have become yes. whistles. Mm -hmm. And these paper things were fun to make as their paper. Yes. So uh, that was a way to uh, have something pretty easily visible mm -hmm. from the street. Yes. It would just be fun. Yes. You know. I noticed that when I was driving. Oh yes, birds. I recognize yes, them. Yes, yes. Well, here's another use of birds. I saw. Which uses matte colors, and this mm -hmm. is a ceramic base, mm -hmm. and it opens. Oh, how lovely! And uh, <coughs> I just wanted to have fun with uh, a nice blue color. This is a nice dye blue nice. color, which I felt would be nice. And the this decoration is using some pens mm -hmm. that I wanted to try. And I kind of like it. Yes. And so uh, they don't have any overall meaning. They're just meant to be kind of pretty. Yes, they are really pretty. Yeah. And this is sort of elaborate. This is another combination of glass. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that the glass is yeah, on the is top of each yeah, plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this part mm -hmm. uh, allows you to see inside. And so inside is this mesh Ooh. that's made, uh, this is a mesh that you can buy yes. to make architectural models with, but I used it. Um, so uh, this has, you know, I don't have any grand interpretation mm -hmm. to this, but it's some sort of elaborate jar, yes. which could be used for, you know, who knows what it could be used for. But each of these is a glass covering over a ceramic I see. Bag. And it's soldered mm -hmm. here, and mm -hmm. the decoration goes. So this is one of the first. I mean, this is obviously a first draft of something that could become much more interesting. Oh my uh, God! Don't tell me this. This is a ceramic bowl. 